Okay guys, here we are and we are ready to start the second part of our color wheel, which is adding our secondary colors. Secondary colors are the colors that are made when we mix two primary colors together in an equal amount. So if we mix yellow and red together in equal amounts, we will get the color that belongs here. Our secondary color that belongs here is orange because when we mix, yellow and red we get orange so I'm going to erase that location so we know I don't like to paint over top of the pencil if we come down here we have red and blue if I take equal amounts of these two colors and mix them together we know that it will make violet or purple so we're going to come down here and we're going to erase the section here Notice I'm not dragging my whole hand across the paper. The reason I'm not doing that is just in case any of my watercolors are a little bit wet, I don't wanna smear them. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we're gonna hop to our blue and our yellow. There is going to be another color located between these two. So if we take equal amounts of yellow and equal amounts of blue and mix them together, we get green. So we're gonna put that right here. Okay, so for this, we're gonna go ahead and use our paints that are already in the paint palette. We'll be mixing these on our own later. So for now, we're just gonna put the secondary colors that are already made for us. So we're going to take our orange and we are gonna paint an orange circle right near the two o'clock on our color wheel. Remember, in the first video I said if you set it up like a clock, there are exactly 12 colors on the color wheel, just like there are 12 numbers on the clock. Okay, I'm going to rinse my brush out, and now you can definitely see that I was really truly using red the first time around, like I promised you I was. And now we're going to be using are violet or purple. So I'm just loading my brush with my paint. Loading your brush just means you're filling the bristles with paint. Putting the violet between the two primary colors used to create it. And think of the color wheel it's being almost like um, a recipe. It's always going to tell you exactly how the different colors are made. If you understand how it's set up. Okay, and then I'm gonna rinse out my brush and our last secondary color is going to be green. And that's gonna go at our 10. So now we have our primary and secondary colors set up and we're going to come back in a little bit and we're going to add our tertiary colors to our color wheel. So we'll be back soon to do that. 